Welcome to the update. I'm Nicole Gunn. All eyes on Scott Morrison with the PM tip to call a federal election this weekend. The way has been cleared after the High Court threw out a case threatening 12 New South Wales Liberal candidates handpicked by the PM. United Australia Party leader Craig Kelly has been egged at an event in Melbourne. In TV footage, a woman can be seen throwing two eggs at Mr Kelly while yelling, stop hanging out with Nazis. You're a Nazi lover, Craig. No You're a Nazi lover, the body of a 68-year-old man has been retrieved from inside a van found submerged in floodwaters in Sydney southwest. The vehicle was discovered near the Nepean River at Cobarty. Australia's major banks can see they'll most likely pass on any interest rate increase, with the first expected in June this year. The big four lenders believe rates will rise at least four times this year in a bid to contain inflation. The first of 20 Bushmasters specifically requested by the Ukrainian military are on their way from Australia. The locally built military vehicles have been painted olive green and refitted with Ukrainian flags. In entertainment news, the engagement rumour mill has gone into overdrive after Jennifer Lopez was spotted wearing a huge diamond ring. There's been no official word from J-Lo or Ben Affleck, who rekindled their romance last year. They were engaged in 2003 before splitting the following year. To sport, and the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc has been the quickest in practice for the Australian Grand Prix at Albert Park. Max Verstappen was hot on his heels in the Red Bull, while Daniel Daniel Ricciardo was 10th fastest in the second practice session. Marcus Harris, Matthew Wade and Jai Richardson have all missed out on Cricket Australia contracts. Scott Boland has been included following his breakout summer in the Ashes series against England. Nick Kyrgios is in quarterfinal action at the Houston Open in Texas. The Aussie Livewire takes on American Michael Moe for a place in the semifinals. And we'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update. Thank you